Outdoors.com. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about kinetic energy. Uh, I did a video yesterday on speed and uh, kind of on the IVO ratings and uh, and what those really mean in the real world. Um, speed's great. Speed is fantastic. And when it comes to the 3D setup, I use a real lightweight arrow and I want the fastest, flattest shooting arrow that I can get. And the reason for that is simply so if I misjudge yardage, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drop off quite as bad. Um, but when it comes to hunting, I want a heavy arrow. Um, Kinetic energy is the amount of force, the amount of foot pounds that your arrow is going to hit that animal. For a uh, large game animal, for big game animal like whitetail, um, I, stuff that about that size mule deer, you're going to want 40 to 80 pounds of kinetic energy. Uh, 40 to 80 foot pounds of kinetic energy. Um, for larger game, you're going to want 80 and above. Uh, probably elk, you're going to want 80 above. Stuff that size. Uh, definitely if you're going to go out of Africa and hunt... At, um, you know, elephants, you're going to want above 100, you're going to want as much as you can get. Um, you can get online, you can do bow speed or buck kinetic energy calculators, just Google kinetic energy calculator and you'll find all kinds of good stuff there. Um, but basically what it is, is you want to get the fat, your bow as fast as you possibly can, but you want to use the heaviest arrow that you possibly can. Um, and for guys like me, I've got some limitations to that. I've got my bow set up at uh, 60 pounds, I'm using a 385 grain arrow. And uh, I'm putting about out about 56 pounds, foot pounds of energy, which is enough for whitetail. I, I shot three deer this year, and only on one of them I didn't get a complete pass through, but hit the hit the bone on this side. On one of them I hit him back here behind the rib, and it actually came out and came out right in front of the shoulder and completely passed through. The one that I hit the bone on, it went through about half the the arrow and he broke it. But I got penetration, got holes on both sides. So you want as much kinetic energy as you possibly can. And like I said, you want to maintain as much bow speed as you possibly can, but you want to be able to shoot the heaviest arrow that you can as well. Uh, I shoot a 380 grain arrow, which is really light. Uh, back when, when I was a kid and there was just aluminums around, everything was heavy, you know, everything weighed 500 grains or more. So a 380 grain arrow is a pretty light arrow. Um, one way I got to explain that is I work in a metal shop and uh, we got to move, you know, we clamp down steel all the time and we got to move it. And we do a lot of big, uh, heavy steel. Uh, if I'm going to move that steel, I know that I need a bigger hammer. So what I've got here is I've got this hammer. Now, nothing's going to change with my arm. I can swing this hammer as hard as I possibly can. And this lightweight hammer is not going to do as much as this hammer. I can take this big heavy hammer here, which is, uh, I don't know, a 16 ounce or something like that. Maybe even heavier than that. But the same arm, same speed, and I'm going to move that steel or I'm going to move whatever I'm hitting a lot further with this one. And it's the same way as your arrow. You need to throw that thing as hard as fast as you possibly can, but you need a big hammer. You want to hit that deer and you want to knock that deer down. So speed is fantastic. And ideally, you know, every one of us would would be shooting a 70 pound bow and have a 30 inch draw but, and putting out uh, 80 pounds of, of, of kinetic energy or more, but that's not the case. Uh, there's some things you can do when it comes to hunting. Like I said, I'm shooting a 380 grain arrow and that's flying, flying good for me with a 100 grain tip on it. Now I can get higher than that. I can shoot it, uh, I can get up to a 400 grain arrow and I'll have pretty good success. So there's some things you can do to kind of play with that, but speed is, is, is great. Try to keep your speed up as fast as you, as you can, but if you're like me and you have the disadvantage of I only shoot 60 pounds and I got a 27 and a half inch draw. So I have that disadvantage when it comes to speed. But keep your speed up. If you can get it, get it up as high as you possibly can. Uh, but shoot a heavy arrow. If you, I want to shoot a 400 grain arrow or more. I'd like to be able to shoot a 500 grain arrow, but I'd like to be able to shoot 70 pounds and have a 30 inch draw too. But it just ain't gonna happen. So I want to keep my my uh, my arrow weight up as high as I can. So that's just something for you guys to think about. Speed is fantastic. But kinetic energy when it comes to hunting is the most important thing that you can got. You can either hit the deer with this, or you can hit the deer with this. I know which one I'm gonna pick. So, uh, like I said, Google uh, bow kinetic energy, archery kinetic energy, uh, kinetic energy calculator, and you'll find all kinds of good stuff. You're going to need to know 
your arrow's grain grain weight, so you may need a grain grain scale or something like that to uh, do that. Or you can go to manufacturers and they, you can get a rough idea about how much your arrow is going to weigh there. You'll need to know your arrow's grain weight, and you'll need to know how fast your bow's shooting. There are speed calculators on there too, but you're going to need to know your arrow grain weight. So, uh, you, like I said, you can go to your manufacturer's website, or you can get, use a uh, grain scale to measure that. So, kinetic energy is the most important thing, uh, and accuracy. We're going to talk about accuracy and shot placement in one of my future videos. If I can find a 3D deer or something, something good to use for an example, I'll, uh, I'll we'll be talking about shot placement in the future. Uh, this is Ike from Ike'sOutdoors.com, and remember, hit him with that, not with that. Be sure to visit our website for more videos. Thanks. I like good